Howdy folks, I hope you're all well, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, when I say I hope you're all well, I hope you're all better than I'm feeling this morning I had my Covid booster jab yesterday and boy do I feel rough today um, Jabs number one and two, no problem, I was fine afterwards but this one had a little bit of a reaction but um, you know, all, all is good now so I'll try to stumble my way through this one as best as I can so looking at a telescope today it's a bit of a quandary to me um, I've, I've, I've sold a few of these but, I've, but, but given what people ask for when they're first buying a telescope starting out I've never understood why more people don't go for this one the popular sellers are the Astromaster 130EQ motor drive or non-motor drive and it has a 650mm focal length and if you ditch the erect image eyepiece and you get a plus eyepiece, a half decent one um, as I reviewed in my previous video to this then you're going to have yourself a very nice wide field scope and also another good seller is the Astromaster 100AZ which is probably one of the better it's up there with the um, Skywatch uh, SD80 as one of the best affordable dual use telescopes you can buy but, um, most people when they buy them two scopes they're asking about what will the planets and the moon look like and but what we've got here is a very long one meter focal length f11 90 millimeter ota and um, it, it already has an erect image so you don't need the <coughs> excuse me the the dreaded erect image eyepiece it does come with a prism diagonal you, you might want to upgrade that to a mirror one at some point for less chromatic aberration but this one in that price range the same as the Astro Master 130 and the Astro Master 100AZ short tube this one is a much better choice if you want to look at the moon a lot or my favorite subject double stars I, I can't uh, recommend look, look, looking up double stars triple stars um, enough like that, that that is that is my favorite topic yet yet even when I, I mentioned all the plus points of this telescope when it comes to high magnification and it comes with 50 and 100 times this one with a 10 and a 20 millimeter eyepiece perfect for looking at the moon but then people will contact me and say yeah I'm going to go for the Aston Master 130 instead and that that's their choice it does come with a, a t-thread down there should you want to put um, a DSLR camera on um, I've not had it outside yet to test if you need to have a um, a uh, extension tube to get prime focus photography but we'll just come on to a um, couple of things to note when buying this telescope first you will notice just down for you know when you're taking it out of the box a little screw there now that is where you adjust the the, um, the angle of, of the scope to, to get it to um, the correct uh, um, uh, de degrees like for wherever you are in the world and I, I like to do that tighten up here before I've put the counterweight on because it's putting less strain on the thread and uh, those with keen eyesight will notice that is a non-standard counterweight but I didn't want to take the Astromaster one out the box and on the subject of the Astromaster uh, uh, setting up most telescopes, well all telescopes what I would say is when you're first setting it up put the counterweight on first and then the OTA because if you put <coughs> the OTA on first there's no weight on the other side that's going to come crashing down and you're going to have a nice dint in the side of your tube assembly um, believe me I know so this is designed for higher magnification views 50 to 100 times but though you can upgrade with a barrel lens or a 5mm eyepiece or, or, or similar should you wish uh, I, I believe it's a, a multi-coated optic with this one very very easy to set up N no tools <coughs> no tools are needed very very easy to move around so anybody that thinks an EQ mount is difficult to move around show them this look how easy is that to move very very easy to find objects in the night sky I always find when um, using a, an EQ mount always to once you've got that pointing north 
always turn in this direction should you want to turn around uh, to look uh, south because if you turn it around that way you're very soon going to start looking at the floor but it has slow motion controls and what you need to do to if you're using the slow motion controls uh, on the other side of the uh, mount you can't quite see are the uh, tensioners tighten them up and then that helps the gears engage so you can use the slow motion controls but this one as, as, as I mentioned it is a cracking scope for if you like looking at, at the moon and the planets but also double stars um, get yourself a nice 32 plus uh, millimeter plus a lie piece and you'll be able to very easily look at star clusters um, and uh, nebulae like the Orion Nebula and uh, the uh, galaxies such as the Andromeda Galaxy and even better when you are in a dark sky area you will notice it does come with the the standard red dot finder it would be nice I think with, with all the Astro Masters if you're listening Celestron to put a, uh, a hot shoe connection on there which will mean that you'll be able to um, change to a variety of other um, finder scopes, the visual ones such as the 6x30, um, 9x50 etc. It comes with a, a CG3 uh, mount, um, it does come with an accessory plate although I've not got it showing there, uh, accessory tray. I would say it's, it's adequate um, for, for this telescope. If, if it's a little bit windy then you, you may struggle a bit or if you're doing long long exposure photography with a, uh, a motor engaged but uh, if you want a sturdy amount see if you can find yourself a, a, a used Celestron CG4 mount or a Skywatcher EQ3 or an EQ5 but anyway that's a quick look at the Celestron Astro Master 90 if, if the moon is your thing out of the, tele the Astro Masters in that, this price bracket yeah, I, I can't think of, of a better choice and um, currently we do have them in stock and it will be available to purchase in the link below. So, as always, I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.